At Asia's largest international defense exhibit this month, the Defense Services Asia, Iran was booted out. Malaysian Deputy Prime Minister Najib Razak explains. Unfortunately, when we inspected their stands, they displayed equipment that contravened the resolutions. And to Iran's ambassador to Malaysia, he says. We had no option since Malaysia is committed to respecting and adhering to UN resolutions. The Security Council resolutions ban Iranian arms exports. They also forbid countries from assisting Iran technically and financially so they don't contribute to its controversial nuclear weapons program. So on the second day of the four-day exhibit around noon, Iran was told to close shop. With that decision, nine Iranian companies packed up and left. The exhibit organizers were tight-lipped about the real reason behind this decision. However, Malaysia's New Straits Times online newspaper reports U.S. embassy officials had approached the organizers, the ministries of defense and foreign affairs, and several Western participating countries to voice its concerns, threatening to pull out if its demands were not met. The U.S. is one of the largest exhibitors at this event, with 26 participant companies. Malaysia's deputy prime minister denies his decision was influenced by Western pressure. And the exhibit continued on with 25,000 trade guests visiting its 27 country exhibits. Anonymous Iranian embassy official in Kuala Lumpur insists the exhibit was not against Malaysian or international laws. Iran has been out of luck this week, with Switzerland freezing the assets of 12 more Iranian companies and 13 individuals. They were blacklisted under recent UN Security Council sanctions for their alleged involvement in Tehran's nuclear program. Two days earlier, Japan also froze their assets in compliance with the same sanctions passed last month to tighten the pressure on Tehran for refusing to stop its alleged nuclear weapons development program.